Welcome to Fission TV. We're so excited to share this unparalleled TV experience with you and hope you're ready to learn about all the exciting functions and features that are available to you on Fission TV. We'll review some of the basic things that you can do on your TV, as well as some special tips and tricks to help you navigate the menus like a pro. Let's get started. First, let's go over the Fission TV voice remote. Depending on your property, your remote may look a little different than the one we have here, as the button locations may vary. Be sure to check out our welcome kit, or ask an account manager to access the right guide to your remote control. Here at the top, you'll see the red power button. This one button will power on and off both your set-top box and your television. Next to that in white is the mute button. Use this to silence the volume on your TV. The keypad can be used to directly access specific channels. Type in the channel number one digit at a time to access the channel you're looking for. The Apps button will bring up the Apps menu, and the Last button will return you to the previous channel you were watching. Further down, you can see the Info button. Press it to see a brief summary of the show that you're currently watching, and what channel it's on. The On Demand button will take you to our On Demand library, and the Options button brings up our Viewing Options menu, right on the side of the TV screen. You can long press this button to access your TV inputs, and switch between them with short presses. The Back Exit button will close any open menus, or you can long press it to exit to live TV from anywhere on your Fission TV. The Guide button displays program information to show you what's currently airing on each channel. The Menu button will pull up your main menu on the left side of the television screen. And the DVR button will allow you to access the DVR menu where you can watch or schedule recordings. In the middle of these four buttons are your four navigational arrows and the Select button in the center. The navigational arrows can be used to move around the menus or guides, and once you've highlighted what you want, you can use the Select button to select it. Just below that on the sides of the remote, you can scroll up or down through channels or raise and lower the TV volume. The white microphone button in the middle is the Voice Command button. This allows you to use voice commands to do things like change the channel or pause a movie. DVR customers can use the red record button to set DVR recordings. Finally, at the bottom of the remote, you'll find the playback controls to rewind, play or pause, and fast forward your live TV, replay TV, or DVR recordings. We also have this stop button, the skip back button to go back seven seconds, or the skip forward button to move forward 30 seconds. Now that you're familiar with the remote, let's review some of the top features and functions of Fission TV. Setting a recording. DVR customers can start a recording by pressing the red record button while you're watching live TV. To stop the recording, use the stop button. If you'd like to schedule a recording in the future, press the guide button and scroll to the series or program you'd like to record using the navigational buttons. Say you want to record this episode from the guide. Press the record button, and you'll see that a red dot has now appeared next to the program title. Your DVR is now set to record. If you want to record this series, you can go ahead and press the record button again, and you'll see three little red dots. This means that the series will be recorded. If you want to cancel these recordings, go ahead and press it one more time. The red dot will disappear indicating that the series recording was canceled. To retrieve your recordings, press the DVR button which will load the recordings menu. It will be displayed by date or by title. From here, you can add a recording or see what is scheduled to be recorded. If you have a series recording scheduled, you can go down to the Series tab and select the specific series you would like to watch or make adjustments to the recording settings. When you're ready to watch, select the program and then press play. As you're watching a recording, you can use any of the playback controls. Use the skip back button to rewind seven seconds and catch what you might've just missed. Or the skip forward button to skip ahead 30 seconds in the program. In the middle here are our pause and play buttons. 
If you want to pause the show you're watching, press the pause button. Your Fission TV will hold your spot for as long as you have the TV on. Whenever you want to resume watching, press play again, and the show will pick up right where you left off. When you're finished watching your recording, you can press the stop or back exit button to return to the previous menu. TV Guide. Now let's look at the TV Guide. Press the Guide button on your remote to bring up the Fission TV Guide. You'll see the channel you're currently watching and what is playing on other channels. As you use the navigation buttons to scroll through channels, you'll notice that certain channels have a little arrow pointing left on the channel number. Or, right next to the title of the show, you'll see a curved arrow. These arrows indicate that these are Replay TV channels. With Replay TV, you can go back in time to the very beginning of a program, up to 48 hours, all without having to set a DVR recording. You don't even have to be watching the channel to enjoy Replay TV functionality. How do you go back? Simple. Use the arrows to navigate to the program you'd like to watch. As you click left, you'll go back 30 minutes to an hour at a time, depending on how long the shows are. If you want to go back a full 24 hours, use the rewind button. If we press it again, it'll take us to the full 48 hours that you're able to go back. Once you've found the program you'd like to watch, make sure it's highlighted in the red box. Press the select button to open the menu. From here, you'll see watch highlighted with the red box. Press select again, and the show will start from the beginning. Once it starts, you can use the playback controls to pause, fast forward, or rewind just as you would to control a DVR recording. When you want to go back to live TV, press and hold the back exit button, and you'll see an on-screen prompt asking if you'd like to go back to live TV. Select Watch Live TV, and it will bring you right back to the current programming. If we open the guide again, you can also see what's going to air in the future. You can go forward up to 10 days in advance to see what's coming up or set a future DVR recording. Use the right arrow to go forward up to 30 minutes or an hour at a time, depending on how long the shows are. And just like we use the rewind button to go back 24 hours, you can skip forward 24 hours using our fast forward button. As we press it, it's going to take us 24 hours at a time until we hit that 10 day mark. On Demand. Next, let's explore On Demand. Here you'll find a selection of thousands of movies, television shows, and premium content available to you depending on your TV package. Press the On Demand button and it will load the On Demand library. From here, in the Featured section, we have tutorial videos. Use the right arrow and go over to the right column, and then with your down arrow, down to Fission Essentials. From here, you'll find short tutorials or instructional videos describing the functions and features of all of our Hotwire products and services that you might have in your home. Let's go back to the main on-demand menu and scroll down to Movies. Within Movies, you'll see we have options including free or rental movies. Under the Free Movies section, you'll see an assortment of free movies available to watch anytime. Head back one menu and now over to New Releases, where you can see the titles that are currently available to rent, including any recent movie releases. The movies we have are always changing every week, so be sure to check back often. If there's a movie you'd like to rent, use your navigation arrows to highlight it and press the Select button. From here, it will show the price to rent this movie. Be sure to follow the on-screen prompts when you're ready to watch your rental. If we go back to the main on-demand menu, we can continue scrolling down to Network TV. Here you'll see what networks we have that offer on-demand content. The number of networks and programs you see will vary depending on what package you have. Network TV HD will display the networks with high definition content available. If we go down to premium, you'll be able to see all of the premium channels with programs available to watch. Further down, the kids menu will show you content suited just for your little ones. And we also have additional categories like Spanish, sports, and music. 
looking for something in particular? You can also easily search for content in the on-demand menu. Or if you have a voice remote, just say the name of the movie or show you're looking for and watch as it instantly appears on screen. Under subscriptions, you'll see any subscriptions you subscribe to or any upcoming special events. Use display style to change the look of your on-demand menu. How do you change it? Simply press the select button while display style is highlighted to view the available options, grid view or list view. After you've decided on the view you'd prefer, confirm the selection and the on-demand menu will adjust to display the preferred view. If you'd like to switch it back, just return to the display style menu once more. Main menu. Every community has a unique, customized menu. To access it, press the menu button on your remote and you'll see the menu appear on the left side of your television screen. On your set-top box, the first menu item will always be your community portal, displayed on screen as the actual name of your community. Within this menu, you'll see that your community has the ability to post information, including any events, upcoming meetings, and amenity hours. If you go further down, we have live TV. Use this to open your guide and see what's currently airing across all channels. Recorded TV is another way of accessing your DVR recordings, and so is the on-demand option just below it, which will bring up the on-demand menu. Apps are a little like a virtual newspaper. If we select it, you'll see we have five categories of news topics to look through. Business, world, technology, sports, and money. You can also check your local weather by selecting weather, which will display the current weather in your area and the forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Further down on the main menu is help, where you'll find helpful news and information about your Fission TV services. In the event there is something new on demand, or a new product or feature available to you, you'll be able to see a notice about it in the Fission TV news menu. Select Fission TV help videos to get quick access to our tutorials and troubleshooting videos. Within storm preparedness, you'll find storm season preparation videos in the event that you need to reset any of your equipment during a storm. Next, we have our mobile apps, including the Hotwire Fission app and the Fission Go app, both of which can be downloaded today on any app-enabled device, such as your mobile phone or tablet. The Hotwire Fission app offers the convenience of managing your Hotwire account from the palm of your hand, and the Fission Go app allows you to stream TV content on any app-enabled device. Voice Remote will take you to a short video on how to activate your voice remote, or if you want to activate Amazon Alexa to control your Fission TV. Further down is Contact Us, where you'll be able to see the name and contact information of the account manager in your community. This personal technology concierge is dedicated to your community, and you can contact them at any time with the information right from your TV screen. Back on our main menu, we have our search option. We call this the universal search, in which you'll be able to search for anything, a movie, TV show, person, or even your recorded programs. Customers with a voice remote can do this at any time too, by pressing the voice search button and saying what you're looking for. Scroll down once more and you'll find settings. Here you can make adjustments to the set-top box, including the TV format or audio. You can also set up parental controls to lock channels or prevent unwanted purchases. Restart system can be used in the event that you need to reboot your box to solve minor technical errors or to refresh the system. You can also restart the box by unplugging it, waiting 10 seconds, and plugging it back in. The system will reboot automatically once power is restored. Viewing options. If you press your right arrow or the options button on your remote, you'll be brought to the viewing options menu. Here you can access live TV filters, a handy tool to help you find what's airing on live TV. Maybe you're ready for a movie or just want to laugh with your favorite comedy. With this tool, you can display specific content based on the program type 
or genre of programming, such as movies, sports, series, kids, and news. Once it's activated, all other content is removed from the guide. You can also set up your favorites list here to customize the channel guide to only include the channels you want to watch. Simply create a new list and you'll be taken to this menu where you'll be able to customize your channel lineup. Use the menu on the side to remove all checkboxes. Then navigate to the channels you want to watch by entering the number on the keypad. Once you've added all the desired channels, you can save the list and give it a custom name like Tom or Comedy. You can set up to four lists at a time. When your favorites list is active, the guide and TV channel change buttons will only show the channels you previously selected. To return to all channels, simply navigate back to the favorites menu and deselect the list. Audio language options are easily accessible from this viewing options menu, as well as closed captions. Use these to change the spoken language of your Vision TV to the languages that are currently available or to display closed captions. TV Zoom allows you to zoom in or out of your current display. You can use this feature with either stretch or normal, whichever fits your TV screen the best. And finally, Channel Search will help you find a TV channel you may be looking for. Voice Remote. Vision TV customers with a voice remote can use the power of their voice to access special features. Simply press the voice search button on your remote and say a command like guide or on demand to be instantly taken to those menus. You can also say things like an actor's name to see any currently available programs or TV shows. Playback controls are also available. Simply say pause or skip forward 30 seconds and your set-top box will react accordingly. For a full list of all available commands, be sure to ask your local Hotwire representative for a full list of all available voice commands. Now let's review some of our favorite special tips and features of Vision TV. As you're watching a live program, press the up arrow to see the last five TV channels or programs you most recently watched. Press the up arrow once more and DVR customers will see their last five recordings. Exit out of this and then press the down arrow. The banner will display information about your current TV program. While this is active, you can scroll up or down using the navigation arrows to watch nearby channels and see a live preview of what's currently airing on that channel. You can also press the left arrow to see the last five programs that you just missed, or the right arrow to view the next five programs that are coming up. All of these features can be done without missing a moment of your live TV content. If you have multiple devices connected to your TV at home, like a video game console or a streaming device, Hold the Options button for 5 seconds to activate TV input mode. Press the Options button again to switch to the different inputs you have currently set on your television, making this an easy way to switch between them. After being idle for 5 seconds, or if you press a different button on the remote, the Options button will return to normal. Be sure to long press it again when you need to switch back to Vision TV. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the functions and features of Vision TV by Hotwire Communications. Thanks for joining us.